What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Conversations with Christian. Conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's me, freaking Charles Dillier. Also with O'Neal Delva in the house. Boom. And so, as you all saw, we're going to be talking about insecurities today, which yes. is like a thing that is plaguing mankind, okay? Yes. And when I say mankind, I mean man. Hood, yes. which comes off the tail of a men's conference that we both were a part of, that we were then tasked with the idea of each one teach one, uh, with the idea that let's just bring men up to the standard in which we were born to exactly, yes. live up to, as well as the dominion it is for us to operate in now. Before we get into it, um, what's going on with this shirt you got going on, brother? Well, well you know, the shirt here, I, I'm, I'm representing my uh, West Virginia Mountaineers, okay. right? So, Ricky, question for you. Mm. Can you consider yourself a fan of a team okay. if you don't know much or anything about the team? Are you no. a fan? No, I, I wouldn't say you're a fan. You're at best like either bandwagon okay. or like you're old school. Okay. It's like you were well, a fan well, and now you don't know anything what's you do, current. You don't know exactly. So, you know, since we're talking about the men's conference, yeah. you know, I'm not going to name names. I'm not okay. one to name names, mm. but they're was a certain someone okay. at the conference who mm. claimed to have been a fan of the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, to be right? exact. America's football team. That's what they say. I, I, that's what they say. But I'm not sure if they're still considered that. But the person who claimed to have been a fan, mm. we asked him simple questions. Mm. And he could My not Lord. provide us with simple answers. My Lord. As far as who's the running back of the current, you know, current running back. Correct, correct. And, and, and who's the, the owner? Who's the owner of the team? Who's been the owner forever? So, the most known person in the yes, NFL. Yes, yes. He, he, the owner thinks he's the coach, actually. Correct. So that's, and that's the thing. So, it, I, I wore it here to represent mm -hmm. my West Virginia Mountaineers Respect. and... You know, I also my USF Bulls. I love college football. You I like college or NFL? Of course. No, I love college. I love college football. NFL. Exactly. I so. think they play harder. But yeah, so you you know who you are. You know who I'm talking to, mm. right? Just just think to yourself, hmm. Should I say that I'm a fan again? Should I say that I'm a fan again? You probably won't. Because you're taking it a step further now. <laughs> and even did it on the podcast. So. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Obviously It's not. done with love. It's done with love, though. It's done with love. Yeah. It's done with love, which is the opposite of what <laughs> <laughs> insecurities can bring about, right? And when we heard about insecurities, I was like, oh, snap. Like, yeah. I would have never put the pieces together the way I mean, that it was so yeah. massively put together, which, shouts out to Pastor a uh, Dr. Creflo Dollar. Yes. He is the one to put pieces together, words together in a way that you're like, oh, snap. Yeah. That is what the word says. I can understand it and I can apply it. And I love it. I love when, you know, the, the word is delivered like that. Yeah. Where it's very simple to follow, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, some can deliver it in a way it's like, what is he talking about? Yeah. Right? Correct. Correct. It's like, so deep, but I need to go research it's it. It's too deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, bring it to a level which I can understand. Correct. Please, right. please. Mm -hmm. One of the things, you know, not directly connected, but well, I do a lot of writing and, you know, and so on. And they always say, you know, you want to write at a fifth grade level. Mm -hmm. And you think fifth grade level, that's so low. Mm -hmm. But no, like fifth grade level, that's pretty high when it comes to certain <laughs> wow. things. But anyway, Respect. Respect. but anyway, with all that said, I love it when it's delivered in a way it's very mm -hmm. simple, simple to follow, simple mm -hmm. to apply mm -hmm. and make it relevant to me and my world. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, and the things that I'm going through. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. No, as the word was going forth, I was just thinking to myself of like insecurities that I have, have had and yeah. work through. Right, because that's the beautiful thing about being under such great teaching. You're able to, as you even said, apply it to your life. Yeah. Because it's said in a certain way that you're like, oh man, like yeah. let me chew on this, and like I'm gonna share one of my insecure moments. Okay. And you can share one of yours. Of course. And I then have, we can I mean, dive into the content. I have a few, so yeah. And maybe you can enter or not introduce, but maybe you can like the word where you can uh, like see yourself in it. Or man, I have the word, but nonetheless. Let's just hear a story. It'll come to you. So, boom, shaka, lock up. I met Crystal, right? Okay. Met Crystal in seminary school, and it got around the time where it was like, okay, I would love for you to meet my parents. I'm like, cool. Ooh. Like, I've done that before. Like, Ugh. easy breezy. And so, I That's had anxiety, known bro. she, her father and mother were pastors, Ooh. right? But I didn't know to the extent. So I was like, let me Google them. That you know adds what I'm even more. Boom. All right, Google keep going. Where is that? So I Googled their name. Yeah. In which... Not many poles in the world, and it popped up. Boom! Post Boom. Tampa, the church, Revelation oh, of Ministries. Oh snap! And at the time, butterflies. Revelation of Ministries had a landing page, a website had a landing page where it was like. 
Pastor uh, Poe, Pastor Deborah in the center, and you had Pastor here, Pastor there, Pastor there, Pastor there, Pastor there, Pastor there. All these locations. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was like Hawaii, yeah. St. Pete. The list goes up. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. oh snap. Oh, snap. They they do church. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they're pastor pastors. Yeah. They're they, pastors of pastors. Pa they're the real deal. And I was like, oh, snap. Oh, but snap. I came from a pastor background. My father's a okay. pastor. Grew up in the church. So, like, I I knew the lingo. I knew what to say. I knew how to do it. I knew yeah. to live. I, I, I was good. But I was definitely overwhelmed and felt borderline insecure. Well, I felt insecure. Yeah. Insecure when I first, I will say this, when I first saw the bus, I was like, oh, snap. What am I about to walk into? Oh. I had to pray. I was in the library of my school. Uh. <laughs> I prayed. Like, legit. Well, I, at the computer, you're like. Now you, you broke out in prayer right there? Silently. I said, <laughs> oh, snap. God, help me. And oh. I prayed the prayer. And I was comfortable at that point. Okay. So I'll say that to say, initially, I was insecure when I saw the magnitude of church that they did. Okay. But then I got peace. I was able to be restored with peace through Jesus Christ after praying. And uh, I well, came down. Let's break it down even further. Just Talk to find out. Okay. What exactly were you, after seeing you were insecure about, you said, the level of church that they did so, but yeah. what exactly was it, though, that, like, you know, other than that, you're just uh, insecure or yeah. nervous, in a sense, to really, to live up to maybe a standard that they, maybe, you had thought that they would perceive or have in place for what their uh, daughter's, you know, person would be, yeah. would be? I'm going to say absolutely. Now, it was birth out of comparison. Okay. Right, because I mean, we, my family, we were living life the way God has blessed us to live. Exactly, life. we were comfortable in it. We yeah. were yeah. flourishing in it. Yeah. We were good in it. Like we were respected in yeah. our in our area. Um, but when I went to compare uh, what they were doing as opposed to what we were doing, I was like, oh yeah. snap! Like the people of old in the Old Testament when they would go spy out the land, and it was like, we're as grass. I'm pushing mm. their eyes. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. That's not what they said to you. Yeah. That's what you're saying about you. Yes. And so I had that grasshopper Bro, oh my mentality goodness. about myself. Yeah. And I didn't even like put it on my parents. I didn't put it on my anybody else. I just put it on myself because of the thoughts that I had about me as opposed to what I saw about them. Yeah. And I had to pray that thing off. Like, thankfully, my relationship with God is strong that I was able to pray. Well, know to pray to say, I got to get rid of this because yeah. I can't go down there feeling insecure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be me. I'm not going to do me. I'm not going to be me. I'm not going to represent me in the totality of who I am. So I pray that thing off. So yeah. Wow. Comparison it, was the root. It, it's amazing that you say, because literally everything that you've said, I thought to myself, man, I could talk about this. I could uh -huh. talk about that. You know, when you start comparing yep. and then, you know, ourselves, mm -hmm. we, we end up doing it to ourselves. But we, we tell ourselves we're not good enough. Correct. Right? Correct. Nobody. We start, nobody said anything about anything, but then we start to look at, oh, snap, you know. Like you said, you looked up and you saw, all right, let me go ahead and Google that, yes, right? You yes. know, let me let me do my own research yes. over here, you know, pulling up stuff. And then when you saw immediately or, you know, shortly thereafter, you then started to tell yourself, oh, mm -hmm. maybe I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, I won't be able to live up to whatever standards or maybe, yeah. Yeah. you know, the things that I'm bringing to the fold might not, not be, be enough, enough or correct, whatever. Correct. But then in actuality, no one said just anything. Like, You're literally sitting in the library, just you, you and you. Facts. Telling yourself facts. These things that, you know, weren't even true. Weren't even true. Absolutely. So, wow, that's amazing. That's yeah. amazing for that, you know, or the way that our minds and so on works. Just and like, like you that. said, and when we start comparing ourselves to other people or comparing to what we think, you know, um, I had touched a little bit on one of the previous episodes about my brother and kind of like, you know, thinking or comparing where he should be in life at mm -hmm. whatever age he was mm -hmm. and looking at what other people have and how, you know, sometimes social media mm -hmm. makes you oh, yeah. Yeah. feel certain ways. Oh, we're going to talk, yeah. talk about the ways in which you can but get yeah. insecure. Yeah. But that, because comparison, social media, right? Yeah. We're going to dive into those, but then share, share one of your. So for me, I mean, moments. I will say, you know, I have a couple, right? We all absolutely have things that we feel somewhat insecure relate about. Relate you know? was the word I was trying to say. Relate. Say one that you can relate to. One you can relate to. Because you knew the parents, you knew what it's like to talk to the parents for the first time. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. all that. But anyway. Like it, like it come back to you. It did. Ooh, full you circle. Said it. You said yeah. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But the thing, oh, so for me, I have a couple. So as a mm. father, you know, mm. every day oh, I will say, right in different stages, the things, you know, being a father, it's every day is a new, um, new experience. Um, and episode. episode. Oh, yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> What's today? <laughs> 
Every day is a new experience. We wake up and, you know, we did not live today prior to today, today. right? Mm -hmm. There might be things that occurred in the past that mm -hmm. helps to add to or that might be similar mm -hmm. to something that you're dealing with today. Yeah. But every day is a new day that mm -hmm. brings its own experience, mm -hmm. right? So I'll say for me, you know, fatherhood at times, I feel like, you know, am I doing the right thing? Am mm -hmm. I raising my kids in the right way? Or... Uh, could I have done something a little differently in where, you know, different outcomes or whatever it might be, or am I enough basically? You know what I mean? Like our goal, I mean, I'll say one of my goals as a, as a parent, as a husband, as a man or whatever is to leave a lasting impression, right? Like on my kids mm -hmm. so they can take away something mm -hmm. or things, hopefully plural, that they can apply to their lives mm -hmm. or whatever, whether it be my daughters, if they see something in me where they say, okay, for a significant other, like this is what I would want, you know, uh, to have that individual mm -hmm. represent mm -hmm. or look like. Mm -hmm. um, and then for my son, um, for him, you know, I mean, junior, so mm -hmm. for him to take away and hopefully see the good that I do mm -hmm. um, for him to apply. But I mean, of course, every day you wonder, or I wonder, like, mm -hmm. Am I doing it right? Okay. Right? Is there something I could have done differently? And also even like financially, something of course too, where people get insecure and feel yes. like, you know, am I making the right money decisions, right, mm. for my family? Mm. Um, you know, one thing I'll say, like, so back in twenty nineteen, we sold our house. So we had built a house together and my wife and I mm -hmm. and, and you know, uh, we decided to sell the house so that we can, you know, temporarily transition to, you know, smaller uh, and then build from there, buy land, and, you know, build something a lot bigger or whatever. Well, that was 2019. And part of the reason, too, why mm -hmm. we sold the house was because the traveling back and forth to and from work was getting a bit much for me, I will say. Mm -hmm. um, then six months later, COVID hits. COVID hits. Boom. Lockdown. Lockdown. Now Lockdown. everyone's at home. Everyone's at home. Prices of homes, what did they do? Ow! <laughs> And this was a shot up, in bro. a huge home. We, it was pretty big, uh, yeah. And I miss it, I will say, at times. I yeah. think, like, oh, my goodness. But now this... That was five bedrooms, right? It was five bedrooms, yep. yeah. Five, three. Yeah. So, like, the price of homes shot up. Yeah. And sometimes I think, dang, what could have <laughs> been, right? So then, like... It's always the thought. Yeah. So then I feel insecure in my, I'll say, my decision-making yes, at times. Okay. Because I, like I feel like... Wow, like only, but we can't see the future, right? No, only God. What, it, what is it? Hindsight's twenty twenty, whatever. That's like what you know, said. when we yep. when we think about down the line and look back at things, like God dang it, mm. I should have said this, I should have done that. You God. know, to be more careful. Ooh, you know, freaking mm -hmm. would have stepped up to me and said that. Ooh, <laughs> you, you're driving in the car, you're like. Dang it, that's what I should have said to Ricky. That was a good comeback. But then, you know, of course. But with all that said, yeah. you know, I'll say at times, like, you know, feel insecure, like, decision making as well as, you know, parenting as a whole. Like, you know, am I doing the right thing? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And I love the fact that you are open enough to share a moment and moments of insecurity because oftentimes men can go through life yeah. and deal with certain things that we've even talking about and have masked it push it down, suppress yeah. it, try to sweep it on the rug and all those various things. However, whatever you put on the rug, you realize it's still in your house, yes, right? Yes. And so you can't just sweep it thinking it's gone. No, it's going to be smelt. It's yeah, going to be well, realized when yes. people come in contact with you. They'll get traces of those things. So you can't hide yes. the insecurities that you have. We're going to give you the solution by the end of this here episode. However, we're talking through and walking you through the process so that you can see yeah. the moments of insecurities. Another one that comes to mind before we start are talking about the tentacles of um insecurities another one that comes to mind is like going out to eat okay right and my wife she loves going out to eat her parents they love going out to eat right and when they go out to eat they go out to eat i'm talking about multiple appetizers <laughs> order what you want yeah you can get dessert yeah what are we drinking order whatever you uh like the list goes it's a party i went out to eat with them first i was like oh snap these people eat yeah like, yeah and i don't even eat like that so <laughs> like eating out wasn't really like my thing because i just eat to survive but, like i don't really like Survive to eat. They survive to eat. They love eating. Uh, I was about to say, were you insecure in your eating? No, no, no. Well, you, eat like was, a, you eat like a bird? You like, no, like no, no, no. Like... I was insecure <laughs> with the prices that I wanted to pay when we oh, went out okay. to eat. 
Right? I don't see where you're building. We're taking it. Yeah. Saying, no, because I was appreciating the fact how you eat. Respect. You eat. That's what you want to deal with. No, no, no. <laughs> if that's how you eat, share with the people. <laughs> I'm talking about the fact that. I was insecure about the prices I wanted to pay for this stuff. I, yeah, like I, the I, money that I had in my pocket, I'm like, you, I feel you, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Taking yeah. Chris out to eat one on one. I'm like, hey, yeah. you know how you do. Yeah. And so, ladies, I'm telling, I'm telling old man that this is what it is. When a man <laughs> is insecure about paying for or having someone else to pay for the food, he always asks, "What are you eating?" <laughs> Like, you go first. <laughs> you go first so that based off of what you order, I know what I can order. Like, if you kind of stay in my, like, budget pocket, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. I can eat a meal like you. Or if you, like, get high, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm eating two appetizers and calling it enough. Oh, you know what snap. Saying? Appetizers. That's what we had. I'm saying You didn't have big face hundreds? Like, you trying to, like, nah. You, nah. Yeah. Nah. No? Nah. <laughs> Didn't. Didn't. And, uh... <laughs> Didn't. And so, you know what I'm saying? I was mindful. But then, you know, let her... So then, I realized, okay, we gotta have a talk before we go to the restaurant. I mean, it is true. That's how you get yourself in this situation, so... Because it's too late once you already ordered. It's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you had to go in with the idea that, hey, this is what we looking like this time. Because they give you the food first, and then you, you pay later. The funny thing is, later. literally, yesterday I was with my wife, we were eating. Very expensive meal. Just mm. the two of us. Mm. It was... When you drop the price? It was $250. Just the two of us. I went and went there. Where'd yeah. y'all go? Um, it was a new spot, actually. We had never been there before. It was She looked it up and on Instagram and said it was a good date place. Uh, it was y'all called, paid $250. Yeah, bro. For two people. For two people, yeah. 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 So, and Let I, your wife live it through my wife. <laughs> <laughs> through words. <laughs> so, but the thing is sometimes, you know, you start to, oh, that look like, you know, we like ceviche and stuff. So, oh, like, okay. oh, okay. Oh, we got four ceviche options. Okay, oh, well. Snap. I, that one looks good. All right, we can talk less good. about that. My wife likes so, yeah. ceviche. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell your story without the ceviche. <laughs> <laughs> but with that said, you know, yeah, you're, you're right. Sometimes, oh, I literally thought, I was like, oh, they let you eat first before you pay. Mm-hmm. What if I ain't got it? <laughs> <laughs> Praise God we haven't had it. <laughs> <Daddy Nash. laughs> but, no, I mean, I, I love that because with insecurities right we learned that there are tentacles there yeah. are ways in which insecurities show in the life of men and the life of people but specifically we're talking about men in this case and that was through like anger that was through fear that was through trying to have dominion mm-hmm. over well being dominant yeah really don't the mean is what we have being dominant over somebody is what shows and comes out of being and feeling insecure yeah and so you know or even feeling like smaller than what you actually are yeah or it may show up in a way like you try to act big and bad when you know you're really aren't right or having a false sense of uh, security right and so it's like huh i've seen myself in all of those scenarios you know what i'm saying like i'm just seeing my life flash before my eyes as he's teaching i'm like oh snap and so let me we share those things right the ways in which insecurity can show up in in a man's life what are some different things that you could think of or maybe that you have thought of of ways that you can overcome insecurity so that you won't find yourself in those pockets i would say i mean one of the things that definitely um thinking you know uh the, the word tells us right the word tells yeah. us, right? roman but three and 23 you know mm. all of sin and falling short of the glory yes. of the lord yes. so yes right there it's telling us yeah. right hey you're not perfect yeah and that that's like one that. of the things what i like we, that. we sometimes no, that's good try to either because of you know what we watch growing up or society or whatever or because we think we have to be perfect at everything. No one man is perfect at everything, Facts. right? Facts. Right. So we're not perfect. We're working towards perfection. Yeah, absolutely. And we might be strong in some areas, Facts. but we're not strong in every area, Correct. right? Correct. So there are areas that you're going to fall short in, yes. and that's why it's important that you, you know, you have in your circle, mm-hmm. right? Iron sharpeneth iron. So yep. have in your circle, right? Maybe people or whatever it might be to help strengthen you or help build you up in whatever area that you might fall short in Mm -hmm. to know like okay i might feel insecure in Mm -hmm. that area but also we tend to hold things and keep them in for ourselves right very true whether you're married with a spouse or you know it's good to have a really good friend or Mm -hmm. someone you know you can go to Mm -hmm. with like with no judgment right i mean go to that person to share with them whatever the thing is that you're feeling insecure about 
knowing that this is one of my best friends, my good friends, mm -hmm. someone who I can just open up to and just share mm -hmm. and have that person either, you know, know that they'll have the right thing to say to encourage me mm -hmm. or help to direct me to the where I need to, to the right person yeah. that I would need to go to or whatever it might be, where it's not something where you just tell them is like, oh, okay, whatever. Then, you know, is that really a friend? You know, so it's like, we're here to support each other. You can't go through life by yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And your mind can eat away at, you know, itself or you and have you feeling certain ways to know, you know, like, or feel certain ways about yourself. You know, last thing I'll say, you know, sometimes, um, not to call out Christians or whatever, I'll just mm -hmm. say in people in general, yeah. where people might walk around as if like their uh, their poop don't stink or hello, whatever, hello. you know? Uh -huh. uh, some might say it a little different than that, but Respect. we'll say it like that. Your poop don't stink. <laughs> <laughs> but when they walk, even those people who walk around like they are the best thing ever, God's um, best gift to the gift world, to the world or yeah. whatever it might be, they have things that they're insecure about too. Absolutely. They're not showing it. They're right. not, you know, but then they're hiding it or they're mm -hmm. displaying what they want you to think or mm -hmm. see, like we've said before. You're seeing social media platforms or yep. even if you're talking to them, mm -hmm. right, in person, mm -hmm. they say all the right things. They do all the right stuff. You're like, oh man, I want to be just, I want to be just like Ricky when I grow up. Mm -hmm. Ricky's all, because Ricky's presenting the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just using you yeah, as an yeah, example. But in actuality, Maybe Ricky is fighting back, feeling insecure. Maybe he feels lesser than he feels super small mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and feels like he is, you know, not the smartest person in the room or that mm -hmm. he doesn't bring value, mm -hmm. right? Because he's comparing himself or looking at other mm -hmm. stuff. But just mm -hmm. know that, hey, you know, we've all sinned and fallen short yeah. of the glory of the Lord mm -hmm. and we're all working towards perfection, mm -hmm. but we're not there yet. Yeah, no, that's also very true because, like I said, even as he was talking, he being... Uh, Pastor Dalla, I was just reflecting over my life and just thinking through the different things that I've been through and have done. And I was like, okay, that's been a sign or that was a sign, a time in which I was insecure. That was mm, yeah. a place in which I was insecure. I tried to be dominant, especially yeah. like dating. Um, I can think over my dating life, how I was trying to be dominant over a woman when I did not feel secure, right? I didn't mm. feel secure because in some cases I was doing her wrong. And so, because I'm doing her wrong, thinking that that's going to come back to me. So, there was fear showing up in my insecurity. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. like, no, nah, you got to let me know when you go this or yeah. let me know when you go that. Yeah. You need to be in by this. You need to be in by that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, foolish and stuff at the end of the day, all because of an insecurity. And yeah. so, one of the things I was like, okay, God, like, what are some ways that you've allowed for me to overcome insecurities in my life? And I know one of the things that God had had me to do um i can't even tell you when it started but nonetheless it was affirmations like mm. in the beginning of my day i start off i go to the gym and on the way to the gym sometimes the windows are down sometimes they're not because i'm yelling right okay and i'm like declaring to myself who i am like reminding myself i'm fearfully and wonderfully made yes. i'm handsome i'm smart okay i've been gifted everything that pertains to life and godliness and the list goes on right i can like give you the spiel but that was my that's mine i said it to say find out who you are and affirm that to yourself each and every day because life will give you opportunities of feeling small feeling lesser than allowing yeah. fear anger frustration to overcome you so you build yourself up in the beginning of the day so yeah. that you already know who you are so that when things come your way you're resistant to those things because you know who you are wow. and so fear anger frustration won't have a stronghold i'm not gonna say they won't come yeah i won't Me. say they won't present themselves yeah. i won't say that they won't manifest because i still can get frustrated of throughout course, a day of course um, i still can get angry in a day but it won't because of it won't be rooted in insecurity mm. it'll be rooted in activities yeah. around me yeah. and so i say that to say like that's a way yeah. right knowing who you are and declaring it to yourself like is there anything that you could think of that allow for you to overcome insecurities to overcome insecurities yeah. i mean kind of definitely going back to a little bit to what i you know mentioned even what you said right now like really just starting the day and declaring Facts. certain things yep. and you know affirming or reminding yourself of certain things yep. about yourself yeah that's definitely you know um key right yeah, and then even true. like you said for um the different when you think about insecurities the different arms or things you know yeah. jealousy yes. as you were talking i was thinking a little bit about sometimes too when in a situation such as dating or whatever right we're thinking maybe 
about the last person that either she or you dated or the things that if someone did you wrong or whatever, right? Now, you're comparing this individual to the last right. person or I whatever like it might be. I like that. And just because person they X. did you wrong yep. there doesn't yep. mean necessarily I'm not the same person. I'm completely different. I have my own mind. I yep. think my own way. Just because I look like, you know, physically or, you know, whatever else, like the same person does not mean that I am that person from before or whatever, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. You know, even jealousy, like we had said, you know, when you think of, while well, we're not, you know, delving to this today, but like, you mm. know, hatred of some sort, mm. right? Where someone might hate another person mm. because they feel insecure about the things that's going on in their world. Mm. You know, as you were talking and as I was thinking, like, you know, I deal a lot with, you know, kids and such, you know, and I like kids and even adults, like, where... Unfortunately, when someone is a bully, right, someone is bullying another person, primarily it's because of something that they're insecure oh, yeah. about themselves, like right? True. Very true. And sometimes, true. unfortunately, you know, someone who bullies another person, it's based on them getting bullied at home mm -hmm. or by another person mm -hmm. where it's like, okay, or neglected. neglected or the mm -hmm. things that they feel like, okay, they don't like mm -hmm. about themselves. Let's mm -hmm. say they're insecure about, mm -hmm. and then they see maybe like another person mm -hmm. with the same characteristics, same traits, who does the same thing. Mm -hmm. Now, because they're insecure about it in themselves mm -hmm. or don't like it about themselves, they then, you know, kind of bully another person, pick on another person or whatever mm -hmm. it might be, you know. Mm -hmm. But I would definitely say, I mean, it's good to know yourself and be truthful with yourself, yeah. right? And the things that you are insecure about. Yeah. And take it to God. Take it to Boom. a friend. Take it Boom. to someone and mm -hmm. not hold stuff in. Because when you keep stuff bottled in, right, like it just festers or builds up. Yeah. Kind of going back to the example you gave earlier, too, and Pastor Dolly had given that during the, um, the conference mm -hmm. where... You know, a lot of times people like to say, I'm just going to sweep it under the rug, mm -hmm. right? Sweep it under the rug, sweep it under the rug. But where's the rug? It's still in the house, still in the house. right? But the thing, a mountain of things Mess. that's been swept under I there. Know. Whoa, it's a little lumpy. You called it poop earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Mounds of poop under the rug. <laughs> But a lot of things that get swept under there, yeah. where we tend to want to ignore, right? But then... No, you, you, you have to address those things, whether it be immediately or down the line as it continues to, okay, well, I've been insecure about this particular thing for a very long time. So let me go ahead and seek help. A lot of times, mm. too, people, they think or like the word psychologist or, mm. uh, um, you like, know, uh, therapy, counseling, counseling all mm -hmm. that, like. For the longest, it's had that negative Taboo. stigma mm -hmm. or, you know, as a dirty word in a mm -hmm. sense. But there's nothing wrong with it, right? right. It's, it's not anything bad, anything negative. It's, right. you know, helping to build us up, right? Yeah. God has given us all different skills, mm -hmm. different abilities, mm -hmm. different, you know, traits, whatever you, you might, you know. Some have the amazing gift of actively listening to what you are saying yeah. and then giving you... Right, the skill or the uh, information that God yep. has given them yep. to be able to help you overcome. Mm -hmm. Also, last thing I'll say too is mm -hmm. going back to the opening your mouth is a way to overcome insecurities and so on. And speaking, um, we might sometimes feel like we are the only ones mm. going through that That's particular good. thing. That's good. Now, there's over seven billion people on Earth right yeah, now. Right. Uh, my guess is mm -mm. whatever it is you're going through, somebody has in the past or currently is going through the exact same thing. I'm for sure. Somebody right? currently is. Somebody both, currently both true has statement. and is Correct. going through the thing. Yes. So if I hold it in and feel like, you know, even with my kids, whatever, sometimes mm. they see Jessica and I as just the parents, forgetting the fact that we were once... Teenagers. Correct. Believe it or not, right. I was once a baby. But it's true, bro. I didn't even think about <laughs> parents as teenagers before. It's, right. hard. it's hard to make that. Exactly. Yeah. When you think about even your parents or whatever. Correct. So then they feel like whatever they're going through, we can't Born. relate. Correct. Granted, it might be different era, right? It might mm -hmm. be different time oh, that's good. in life. That's good. But bro, like, there's nothing new under the sun. In that scripture. Yeah. So what you're going through yes. is the same thing that somebody has or is going through. And the only way that you can seek out real help is for you to open thy mouth and speaketh. 
Ooh, okay, King James. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing okay, it back. <laughs> and now we're going to get into the solution. <laughs> that is good. But even to like the solution that Pastor Dollar was talking about, he declared that Jesus is the answer. Yes. Right? Like yes. Jesus is the answer. There can't be a strong man without Jesus being in and present in his life. That is true. Like it doesn't exist without the other. That's true. Right? Because how else can you deal with insecurities? How else can you deal with angers, frustrations, fear, feeling lesser than, feeling smaller, feeling black? The answer is Jesus. The answer, the answer is Jesus. Is Jesus, was Jesus, and will forever Remember, be, be Jesus, right? And so he even broke down the fact that Jesus came to give us back our dominion. And mm. the dominion is not over people. Yeah. It's dominion over things, over the things that God has created, over the place of our purpose, and the list goes on. And so Jesus is the answer. I was hinting to it, Pastor O'Neill. Jane dropped your name. Uh, Pastor Adele was talking to it and the list goes on, but Jesus is the answer. And so you can't have a strong man that is overcoming, has overcome, and walks in through true authority, not in insecurities without Jesus. And so he painted that picture and it was so beautiful. And then he went on to beyond, he, Pastor Dollar, went on beyond to talk about what manhood actually looks like. And yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. snap. Yeah. Crackle, pop. <laughs> like, we ain't gonna talk about that this episode. We're gonna talk about that next episode. However, I just wanted to throw it to you just to see if you had any other, like, things to add on to my interpretation of what was said as far as a solution to overcoming insecurities. Yeah, of course. I mean, taking it all back to the Word and taking yeah. it back to, to Jesus, where we sometimes, too, We'll hold on to burdens and stuff, right? Yes. Where we don't need to, where you know we've we've overcome already. He's already, you know, he's won. Yeah. Right. He, he defeated death. He defeated, you know, mm -hmm. through him we and, conquer. Mm -hmm. Right. We yep. conquer in in all that we do. And like you said, not yes. knowing, you know, we have dominion over, you know, things and so on. And to declare and um, that we win, mm -hmm. we're prosperous. We're you know here uh, designed based on you know uh, the way that God has designed us yep. to be, and to just. Take it back to him and mm -hmm. uh, knowing, like I said, when to speak up and so on and so forth. But at the end, not to hold on to burdens and hold on to things that we're not designed or not purpose to hold on to. Well, and, you know, open your book, read the, read the word, right? Yeah, and yeah. even when you get lost, when you get confused or you don't know what to do, sometimes, you know, it's good to pause, open your word and read. You know, a long time ago, they used to have these bracelets, I have a few, where it's a... Uh, what would Jesus yeah, do? I still rock them. You rock? What would yeah, Jesus do? Yeah. Uh, WWJD. WWJD. Man. I love this. It's good. You know, look back and think to yourself, what would Jesus do yeah. in this situation? Now, I wore them, but rarely did I do that. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a way to be seen as a Christian. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, when I went and met girls' dads, I would wear them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but meanwhile, I'm kissing them. Oh, the my car. goodness. <laughs> Don't do as Ricky says, not as Ricky does. I'm just in, the no, past, in, the in the past, past in the past, in the past. But, not, but but I wore them. And I actually, I will say, I yes, thought sir. of at times. Now I did do some things as kids, though. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get into the episode where we talk a about our uh, the things that we did. Like the past. Things, yeah. Thank God for you know uh, salvation yes. and thank you for grace and yes. mercy. A touch of Jesus. Yes. Oh, thank God for grace and yeah, mercy. Cause... I should be a father of many. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I potentially should be in jail right now for some of the Me things too. that I did when I was younger. Oh, nice. Uh, we got to tell our stories. Yeah, yeah, we'll tell our stories. I story. got one of those too. We'll tell our stories in another episode. Yes. yes. No, insecurity. <laughs> insecurity. It's a thing that is plaguing yes. all of manhood. However, talk about it, right? We are here to share our stories as well as talk to you through what we understood as it pertains to yeah. insecurities and how it's plaguing uh, men and manhood and fatherhood and the list goes on with all the hoods. However, we don't want that to be your story as well. So if you have anything that you want to share, talk about, definitely drop it in the comment section below. Um, if it's something that we can talk about over a episode, we will do so. Or if it's something that we need to talk to you directly, we'll do that as well. Um, on a fifth grade reading level. Uh, <laughs> why? Because we want you to not only hear what is being said, yes. but to apply, to apply it, yes. it in your life yes. through understanding, right? And all you're getting, get understanding. So I'm um, passing to you to close us out. Um, 
Got him. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't prepared <laughs> for that. But no, but no, thank you for watching. As Ricky said, if you have anything that you'd like to share with us, drop it in the comment. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, all you know, that. all of the above. Yeah. And message us and let us know if you, the content, if you like it, of course. I like it. Let us know uh, which direction that you'd like for yeah. us to maybe go with the future episode. And with Boy. that, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.